A meeting of the Armenian Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Zorab Munatsaganyan and Elmar Mohamed Yarov was held in Geneva Wednesday. The meeting was held under mediation and participation of the OSC Minister Group Co-Chairs Igor Popov, Stefan Visconti, Andrew Schofer and OSC Personal Representative of the Chairperson in Office, Andrzej Kaspershek. A conscript serviceman in Artsa was wounded Tuesday by a shot he himself had fired, Armenian Ministry of Defense's spokesperson Arjun Hovanisian told News AM. According to Artsa Ministry of Defense Press Service, the soldier, 20 years old, is in critical condition. An investigation is underway to find out the details of the incident. Two Chinese citizens have not been allowed to cross the Georgian border as one of them had a fever and was suspected to have the coronavirus, an Armenian health representative told reporters Wednesday. According to the head of the Department of Epidemiology of Special Dangerous and Airborne Diseases, Liana Tarosian, the citizens were isolated and checked, and they appeared not to have symptoms of the coronavirus infection. She also noted that Armenia has no lab tests for the diagnosis of the new coronavirus but they are going to get them from the World Health Organization and Russia within 10 days. The death toll of the virus has increased up to 132, while the number of infected has exceeded 6,000. Eight countries are evacuating their citizens and employees of embassies and consulates. The United Arab Emirates has also confirmed its first case of the new coronavirus. A passenger bus belonging to an Iranian company conducting transportation with the Tehran Yerevan Tehran route crashed Wednesday near Miane, Iran. According to the Armenian embassy in Iran, the injured have been hospitalized in Miane and Tabriz. No Armenian citizens reportedly were on the bus. Yerevan police apprehended Tuesday the co-founders of the opposition Adekvat party Arthur Danielian and Konstantin Dernakalyan and two other members, as well as Fido Initiative founder Narek Malyan. They were all apprehended on suspicion of possession or carrying of illegal weapons. After a while, they were released. Later that evening, civil consciousness NGO head Narek Samsonian was also detained on the same suspicion but was taken to the Department for Illicit Drug Trafficking. He was later released and said Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan is personally responsible for the detentions. By the way, Samsonian told the police he reportedly saw Armenian Parliament Speaker Arat Mirzoyan in the car using narcotics. He expressed hope that the department will deal with this case as well. Armenian Constitutional Court President Harayto Masyan gave an interview to an Armenian TV channel amid the recent developments. Earlier, the dissemination of his daughter's Facebook page and Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's statement that the Constitutional Court had had offered him services heated discussions on social media. When Tomasian accused the Prime Minister of distorting the fact, the Prime Minister shared the photo of Tomasian's pen given to him. According to the Prime Minister, he was shocked to learn how much this pen cost. Tomasian urged all to put an end to the story of this pen, as problems facing Armenia as well as regional and other challenges are much more complicated. Asked to comment whether his relationship with the Prime Minister was inimical, the Constitutional Court President said he had no enemies in the country. My enemies are on the other side of the border. Tomasian also touched upon the Prime Minister's statement that it is necessary to conduct an investigation to find out whether Tomasian's foreign visits posed a threat to national security. The Constitutional Court had noted that he made only two foreign visits to St. Petersburg, Russia and to Latvia. Dozens of passengers of the Ryanair Milan Yerevan flight on Tuesday were denied boarding registration on the plane, a Passenger.am representative reported. According to the representative, this situation was due to the poor organization of the flight. As co-founder and director of Passenger.am, Vanir Harutunian noted, Ryanair offered to use the Rome flight a few days later, whereas they were required to arrange the transfer to Armenia within two hours. As he noted, various people have tried to return to Armenia at their own expense.